This project is a, a testament uh, to that vision many decades ago, uh, a testament to uh, the vision of, of District Council, and congratulations uh, uh, to District Council, and it's great to again see uh, many of my past colleagues from my municipal days here today. Um, and, and a testament to our, our recognition as a government um, that we need to get these beds built in Ontario. And uh, Minister Calandra talked uh, about uh, me being a little bit tenacious. There is no one more tenacious and no one more committed to him uh, to ensure that long-term care has a, a great footing now and into the future. And I want to thank him for um, the work that he does every day and for Premier Ford as well uh, in a government that is committed to getting these beds built not only here but again uh, throughout Ontario. Obviously, it'll be a state-of-the-art, state-of-the-art home. It will be unlike what you're used to uh, in uh, in long-term care uh, homes. This is the new way of uh, of doing long-term care, right? We we learned through uh, uh, the pandemic uh, uh, how important it was uh, to uh, transition from an, and people hate hearing it, right? Mm -hmm. From an institution to a home. This is where people live, and the long-term care home should reflect that. So what you're having is uh, is bigger hallways. They don't look like uh, it doesn't look like an institutional hallway. They're smaller clusters of uh, of 27 people per per unit, where you know you have individualized uh, uh, social areas. And when you come into the home, you really it's almost like coming into a, a, a condominium uh, as such. And the level of care is 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 going to be increased. And look. You, this is, as I said in my, my remarks, probably one of the most beautiful groundbreakings I've had the, the pleasure uh, uh, of attending. But, and, it's, and I'll just say this, it's so much more than that. When you build a 160 uh, uh, home uh, uh, long-term care uh, uh, facility, there's more you can do, right? You can also then start talking about how can the long-term care home participate in home care? How can it help with the acute care in the hospitals in the area? And how can we involve our, our, our paramedicines to increase the community paramedicine program? So what they're doing here really is spectacular, not only for Huntsville, but something that we look at across the province. It is the measure by which we uh, uh, have all other homes uh, compare themselves to. And it wasn't just dignitaries attending this historic groundbreaking, but those involved in the heart and soul of Fairburn, including some staff and current residents. The new Fairburn is going to be their home and their workplace, and it's really important that they are a part of this, uh, this ceremony today. Although we couldn't have everyone here in person, having that ability to still be a part of it virtually was, uh, um, was something that uh, people spoke highly about wanting to be a part of and being able to see it and, and just to know that, also to see that things are truly happening it's it's been a project as as everyone alluded to today that's been a long time in the making and finally seeing that groundbreaking happening is is something that everyone is very very excited about you know uh, Graydon used to say of district you know the district of Muskoka was created to do the big things uh, in Muskoka the big projects well this is big and that's the first thing you notice when you come on this incredible site it's seven acres and already so much work has been done to create a new vision of long-term care for the residents of Muskoka. <laughs>